So my thing is, like, of course, I'm a Cody fan, so I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited that he yeah, won. Yeah. But when I'm thinking about the bigger picture, so if we're thinking about finishing the story, so right now we're writing the book, and people were saying somebody posted it it was like a wrestling account on twitter saying i think that he's only lost two matches since he's been back and so when i when i saw that obviously we knew that he hadn't lost a lot of matches so i didn't need a statistic to tell me it's only been two i'm even surprised it's that many if we're being honest but um i want to see like more adversity for him and so if we're gonna go from him defeating a physical specimen of Brock Lesnar, you know? And so he had this like strength adversity. I kind of want to see the mental adversity to come his way, which is where Bray Wyatt comes into the picture. Because I think that there are mixed feelings about him beating Brock the way that he beat Brock just because of how the match went. And obviously it is nice to see that he didn't just like dominate the whole match and then win. And by him, I mean, Cody. Yeah. yeah, Um, yeah. So he was beaten down, but then it is, like I said, it is the prototypical John Cena, super Cena match. So that it is what it is, but I want to see him have more adversity between now and when he gets the championship, because Otherwise, it just feels like too easy. He came back and he's just like winning and winning and winning. And it's like, okay, so if we're like, he wants to finish the story, he wants to win the championship that has eluded his family all of these years. Well, he can't be winning, 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 and then just ends up getting an opportunity. You know what I mean? Like, I want to see him have like a bit of a roadblock. And I think that if we're not going to go in the, the physical way of a roadblock now, I mean, I can't imagine there's not that many other people on the roster that are more physical than Brock Lesnar. I would love for it to be Bray Wyatt, which we talked about because of their history, um, their connection. Um, And I forgot the hugest thing, connection, the hugest connection between Bray Wyatt and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes was Husky Harris's NXT pro. I totally forgot about that when he was dashing Cody Rhodes and they paired him with Husky Harris. Which was like he was disgusted by him, obviously, because he was like, "Ew, he is a man out of shape, and he's husky." <laughs> yes. Um. So I forgot about that. So that is like a huge, a huge thing too. So I think if we're going to move on from Rock Lesnar and just try and think of like which way he should go in, I would love to see a white family version of Bray Wyatt, or I guess another sort of version in that way, and have him just manipulate and essentially like mind fuck with Cody <laughs> and have that type of adversity because I think that is super interesting and it's it's like okay he he can't not match up with Bray in the w- ring even though Bray is technically bigger it's like no he can hang with him in the ring it's not the Absolutely. same way as like yeah. Brock but can he handle and overcome the mental aspects of what Bray would inflict upon him. I feel like that would be a really cool direction to go in. And then it's kind of an unexpected twist in his road to the to the title. I feel I don't know. Maybe I'm just no, I know no, you're right. No, but and that all can still happen. Let's not let's not just throw that away like it's never gonna happen. That could still happen, and that could actually be. Bray's first viewed when he's clear. Problem is he's not clear right now. So my mind goes, all right, well, what's the best way to keep him fresh and keep him ready so that when Bray's ready to come back, he feuds a Cody in this element and, and get we get this feud yeah. between them before he makes that next step to the title. And why not have him feud with guys like, you know, on Raw, you know, different people of the roster? Um I just why can't I think of any like maybe ricochet for like a few matches, not like a feud, but like you know, it's like hey, you're incredible in the ring. Two faces, like I want to get in the ring with you because I want like whatever the case may be. And then that's what kicks off his next feud with one another heel or a bigger name. You know, just little shit like that to keep him fresh so that when he's ready for that big feud months and months of uh you know rivalry. He's right. Re- it's not only he's ready for it, but you forgot about Bray in that element. And it's like, okay, 
oh, I do remember he beat Brock. That was the physical, like all that. He now he's got to really, you know, face his demons. We'll say because yeah. that's the one thing you have to do to become a champion is be physically fit to go up against anybody, but also be able to face your demons at any uh, chance and point. Yeah, I just I don't know who no. No. is next in line for Cody, and so we'll have to see. That's why I just felt like it was like the perfect opportunity for Bray because Cody's gonna be so happy that he took down Brock that he you know won two to one he's done with the beast he got the seal of approval from him in front of everybody in the ring afterwards so he's going to be celebrating and I would just love to see Bray just ruin that immediately you know like I said I would love for him like ev- all the lights to go out and Bray is just sitting there in the in the rocking chair I would I would die I would literally die yeah <laughs> 